This tutorial is going to be all about note taking on TradingView, including how you can write notes directly on your watch list and save those notes over time, or perhaps even use all of the drawing tools available to you to write notes as well. So the first thing that's key to this video is reminding you that when you head to your watch list details and news menu, you have the capability to write down notes for everything that is neatly organized in your watch list. Now, for our educational videos, we have all of these sections organized nicely in our watch list by specific name. We're just going to focus on US equities for the time being. Now, as you can see here, we have NVIDIA on our watch list, and you can also see that there is a little note taking icon. And when we hover our mouse over it, it says this is a note. That's because quite literally, we have written a note about NVIDIA. And you can see that note in the details menu. So keep in mind that as you create your watch list, if you wish to write notes, it's going to be in your details menu. Now our note can be found right here where it says this is a note. And you can find that below the news button here. So let's click this is a note. And here's a note that we wrote back in 2023. Well, that's an old note. It was probably just made for an example. So let's go ahead and delete it. Now we have no notes. It says, write your first note. Okay, here we go. We click the message box. This is our first note about NVIDIA. NVIDIA, could this be the top? And let's go ahead and click add and our note has been added. Also pay attention to the fact that there's a camera button here and we could write this chart caught my attention today. Now let's click the camera button, let it load and get utilized, click add, and now we have added the chart as well. So we are documenting our thoughts, our process, our trades, everything of the sort into this wonderful notes menu. And by the way, if you wish to write a new note for, so, so for example, here's Tesla, you're going to find that there's a little note icon at the top of the chart. Click add note. And now you can write your first note once again. Did, did Tesla just find its bottom? And the reason why we wrote that, of course, is because you can see Tesla's down quite a bit. Look at it way down here, but that's a green candle. Maybe this sell off is over. Well, we just wrote that as a note. It's time stamped. We have the date and time. We'll always know when, and we can go back and reflect on our progress. So you can keep these notes every day and find them right here in your watch list. Now, before we really dive into note taking any further, we just want to remind you at the power as well of your details menu. You can see here, you can customize some settings for your details menu, whether, whether you even want to show or see notes as well as everything else in your details menu, because perhaps you only want to look at your notes. So it's sort of just literally becomes a note taking tool for you. You just see price and notes, but that choice of course is yours and you have the freedom to do as you please in this regard. So that is the basic basics of notes and how you can get started. And you can always see which symbols have notes based on this little icon here. Now that you understand how to write notes on your chart, where to access them, where to keep these journal entries, the next step is to make sure you know about the drawing tools that enable notes. Now, the first thing that you must always remember is that almost every drawing tool in TradingView has the capability to have notes added to it. So this horizontal line has been randomly added to the chart. We can double click and now it says text here and we could write this is a note about a level I am watching. So you could do just this as well on the majority of drawing tools available to you. And of course you can move this as needed as well. So this is technically another form of note taking. You can draw drawing tools, support lines, resistance, trend lines, and then add text to it. Now there, there is a tool though that is definitely more relevant to note taking on TradingView, and that is quite literally the annotation tools. Notes, annotation, writing, taking down journal entries, it's all here for you. You can click annotation tools, and then as you can see, you have text, anchored text, note, anchored note, call out, comment, price label, price note, sign post, flag mark. So this gives you 
endless ways to create notes that live on your chart. The text note is very popular. You probably already know how to use this tool, but for those of you who don't, it's really as easy as clicking text, finding any point on the chart, and then typing in what it is you need. The top. And now that note, of course, lives there. We have that note on the chart whenever we need it. And keep in mind that there are some important tools as well related to writing down notes like this, including your floating toolbar. So you can quickly change the color of the notes that you write. Or if we'd like, we can change the background. Well, that matches the background too much. So let's do that. As well as the font size, we can lock this tool specifically. So it's really sort of locked there. We can also quickly delete it access the settings menu, which gives us additional capabilities to add backgrounds and borders or text wraps. The choice eventually is ours, as well as visibility settings as well. Visibility settings refer to if you want to even see this text or this note on specific time intervals. So that's right. You get to decide if you want to see this note on a weekly chart or not. So we unchecked weeks, change our chart to weekly. The note or text is gone. Go back to daily and it's back. So these text notes and annotation tools here give you additional ways to keep notes on your chart. You can even anchor the text to a specific point. So if you'd like, you can click that and say, this is anchored text. And let's of course make this slightly smaller, move the chart around and you can just see the difference. See the difference between the text? This text here is following us as we move across the chart. This text here is staying put on where it was exactly placed. As you work your way through these tools, you will find that they all have different use cases for your specific needs in terms of taking notes. There's just a general note tool as well. It gives you this, this sort of bubble icon feature. People or traders have really done a nice job with this tool in terms of having many of these around the chart because what's really cool about this tool that makes it different than just adding text is what happens is it shows you where you left the note. So in fact, let's just change the color really quickly. How about a color we just can't miss? Let's do this purple. How about that green? Can't miss that. So we can see this green icon here, but we can't see the note. But when we hover our mouse over it, now we can see it. And just like the other tools, we have the capability to customize these as well. Now in your annotation tools, as you continue to go about this process, you will find that all of these note taking or text tools have different use cases, depending on what your specific desire is. So this one is almost like a comic book or like a word bubble. You click a point, you can see the starting point is connected to that. And then of course you can extend the call out as needed. So if we'd like this text to just be way up here in the top, right? Well, let's do that. And we can do this again, bottom, as well as changing the size, color, feel of it as well. Now we, I'm not sure we would ever have a call out that large, but the point is we can do something similar. There's also price notes here as well. So we can have literal prices shown on our call out wherever we click. And there are signposts and flag marks as well. So now that you've watched this video, you most likely have just walked away with a very important understanding of how to write notes. So quite literally on your watch list, you can have notes, you can keep daily journals about the symbols you follow, which of course is really important. So you can reflect on your progress over time, your trades, your observations. It gives you the ability to really get a feel for everything that's going on. And you've learned about taking notes with the text and annotation tools. And there is one final component, but we have tons of information about this in our help center already. And we've made YouTube videos about it as well on our YouTube channel. That is the capability to publish. So publish means you can write down your thoughts as an idea and share that with everyone on TradingView. So you can share this with everyone on TradingView. If you click publish, give it a title, write down some text, select some category and click continue. So maybe you want to write about your next great trade and why you think you're going to have a great trade and why other people might find this interesting. Give it a title, my great trade idea, add some text. Here's what I am looking 
at. And when you follow this as well, what you'll find, we're going to delete out of here, is that the idea you publish comes with the chart you're looking at. So if you have drawings on this chart or other text, or if you have a co specific color, look, or feel, it will automatically attach to the idea you publish. Now you can also record videos. And in addition, which is rather interesting, you can write quick public notes and share those as if it were a chat with everyone else. So you could just write, for example, Tesla, this is getting interesting. Click post. And now we are in this feed as well, where people can upvote or downvote as they need, or even comment on our specific text that we've shared in this mind. So the point of this is that there are a number of different use cases for creating text or notes on TradingView. You can quite literally add them to the chart with these tools. You can, of course, keep them private and almost as a daily journal in your watch list. And then lastly, there are some social features for you that relate to what we were just showing you with publish, publishing an idea with the chart attached, speak in your mind, or possibly recording videos. But long story short, and yes, we have a pretty in-depth explainer here, and maybe you're already an expert and you only needed the first 60 seconds to get started, but the point we want to end with here is there is no shortage of ways for you to write notes about the assets or symbols or metrics that you're tracking on TradingView, whether it's private and unique to you, whether it's on the chart, or whether it's being shared publicly with everyone on TradingView. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, please leave comments and questions below. Our team will literally build features for you if you provide good feedback or have good questions, and especially if you have questions about some of the product use cases. Maybe you want to learn why some of these matter more. Feel free to write that in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.